Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Sea of Stars, shall we? Continuing where we left off with the kind of first little prologue session, and we're still little kids, so we're in this flashback, and we can explore the dormitory. This is the moon side, obviously, and then the sun side is over here. So maybe I just pick a bed, and I say, go to sleep, but... Maybe we want to explore a little bit more first. See if there's any secrets, treasures lying about. I don't know if they'll let us go check out the fighting arena. We can see. Oh, she's cleaning it. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. That's right. We're ready. We're kids. Okay. I don't know what that is. You just climb up there to get stronger or something. All right. Well, I think we've poked around enough. I don't know uh, too much about the game in terms of like locating hidden items or secrets. If there are any of the, the map indicates where they are with a, a twinkle or some other obvious thing sewing basics oh god dot 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 not sewing but the garment sounds important so what are you gonna do go to sleep yes The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brugaves. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Arlena and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Zale received training sword. Valerie received training staff. All right, let's get to work. Huff, huff, huff. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. Yep, that's right. That's what those ladders are for. Come on, Zale, keep up. I... I could do this. We are amazing recruits. Take that. Oh, push-ups. Ninety-nine, one hundred. That's it for today. You did great. Phew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Arlena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. All right, time to take a break. And Arlena will see us on the terrace, which is this this thing, or do they mean out here? I don't know what you're talking about, terrace. Yep. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? You bet. You bet we want magic. It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three. Fizzle. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember 
that this is your life and Erlina uh oh dot 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 since you're done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic I would provide the briefing for your next assignment as for the two of you it's about time you tried that sewing kit move along now Oh god, there we are. And making a piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. Looks more like weaving. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. Alright, I'm a little kid. I'm bored. Let's see what we can do here. Just a bunch of old books. Just a bunch. Even more. The oldest books you've ever seen. Let's get into some trouble. You know how I do things. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina, there is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zale and Valerie were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. Oh, okay, so we have a stork to kind of, you know, tell a nice euphemistic story about the birthing of babies and... They have a great eagle. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brukaves, do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This con conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go, Brugaves. Dot, dot, dot. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then months. That's a lot of push-ups and sewing. Faster now. Ooh, look, the magic's getting better. Focus and then release. We need some music for this montage, a cool song. And then, uh, and the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of Solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansing is always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving the world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Zale? What happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? Dot dot dot. That will be all for today. This conversation is over. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Sail, wake up! Valerie, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right.
Hi, is anyone here at the entrance? Hey, look. Oh, smells good. There's a note. Dear Zale and Valerie. Oh, it's from Garl. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with celestial, uh, with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aww. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops. Now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time, Garl. Garl's the best dweller that we know. Wait, what? Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got the cookie jar. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Haha, ha, you're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. Indeed. Sit-ups, push-ups, and so they trained and they sewed for years. And then they trained and they sewed some more. Until one day... Zeo! That's the one. I could feel it too. Hold on. All right. I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. You made a sash for your waist. This was supposed to cover your entire body. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes. The tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I could deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Arlena and Brugaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. All right. Want to review combat basics? Sure. Let's check it out. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use left and right to cycle through available characters. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per turn. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the rest, uh, the round resets and they all become available again. Indeed. All right. So we'll attack. Chop. And we will attack. That's all we can do. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Oh, press X as the hit connects to increase damage. Oh, it's got a timing element, okay. There we go, did it. Good, let's see that one more time. Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember, to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. 
So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press X as the hit connects to reduce damage. Uh, that was too soon. Stay focused and press it when it connects. Okay. Darn. Too late. Oh, okay. It can be difficult sometimes. Here, let me help you. Now. Oh, I see. Good. Let's see that one more time. Wow, it's too late. Ow. I'm waiting for the sound effect, but I gotta do it like... No, even sooner. Jeez. I'm not very good at that. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hot on yourself. No one's expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it all perfect, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time blocked as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing. Ow. She's dead. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. You killed her. KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50% hit points once all the KO stars are gone. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fa uh, fall during the same battle, the more stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Valerie returns. All right. So can I defend? No. I didn't do a good job. Too soon. There we go. There we go. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Okay. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Got it. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage to the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see you break this one. Alright, so it needs two slicing and two blunt. Got it. Take that. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for Sun and Valerie for Moon. Alright. Hold X for power. Press X to deflect. Well done. Now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. Oh yeah, you get three. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP able to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Uh, Solstice Strike. Teamwork. Yeah, you're strong, alright. 
Keep an eye on out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Only 50% die on the exam. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the test? Yeah, you got it. Then let us begin. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. We'll now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Okay. Ahem. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valerie, I did it. Now it's your turn. Ahem. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I choose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. It's that turtle with the spike on its shell. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here is a little something to keep your health full. Obtained 3x tomato clubs. Okay, those sandwiches. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap. And return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Zale. Let's just go for it. We're going. I'm jumping down. Oh my god, my legs. Oh, we just splashed in the water. That's not that bad. Uh, I guess they want us to go this way, sure. Uh-huh. Cookie jar. I don't have the cookie jar yet. Found an ornate stone. Ornate stone. No, I do have the cookie jar, just not the right thing for that. I knew it was those turtles. I just knew it. All right. I'm going to sunball this guy. I've been meaning to sunball this guy. One down. Ouch, bad timing. Um, Moonerang. I hit him. 16 experience points. I could bounce that off. I wonder how many times I could have done that. Rock wall. All right. Uh huh. If you fall, you die. We got the ornate stone. Uh oh. Fine. There's three of them. All right. I shouldn't have used my magic. That's what I get, but let's go. Ow, wrong timing. Got it. Got it. Combo's building up. Zale. How could I have done that? 
Solstice Strike. Chopped him. Now that's some experience. Now we could eat the turkey club. We might actually need to. Or the tomato club, I should say. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are, weird. Will be a walk in the park. Dot dot dot. Let's see them off then. Who's weird? Sounds weird. I pushed it. Oh. Weird. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. Wait, I didn't use my healing items. I should have. Oh, they, they start us at full. All right, shuffle weakness, physical. Okay, right now he is weak to physical attacks. So let's do physical attacks. Vulnerable. Okay, that didn't. Shuffle weakness, sun. All right, well. Uh, then fine. All right, so we need to go skills, sunball. And uh, we'll just hit the guy. Moon weakness, all right. Take that. All right. Oh God, I'm not getting the timing right. All right, he's back to physical. And here we go. Oh, you don't have to do them sequentially. That's cool. Uh, he has no weakness, so I'll just keep hitting him. Oh, he's toast. We leveled up. Jackpot. All right, so this means I get um, hit points, magic points, and I can boost what I want. Oh, cool. All right, so I can go physical, magic, defense, or mana points. Wow. I'm going to go physical attack just to do more basic damage. But mana points is really tempting. Magic defense, hit points, physical attack, or mana points. Hmm. That's a lot of hit points. But I'll, I'll just go physical attack with both of them. I just want to have some standard damage to help get through enemies. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Sweet. We've been trained so well. Okay, I didn't know if you'd say something else, like... Self-destruct initiated. Congratulations, Zale and Valerie. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. Ha! We did it. In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power. The ability to use magic without using magic. What? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. Okay, great. They're going to celebrate. Where's Gil? It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? Garl, not Gil. I don't see him. Many years ago, Zale and Valerie were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, 
just like your ancestors had done for so many children of the solstice before. Zael and Valerie stepped forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those that will soon join the ranks of the solstice warriors. Hey, it's us! This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting the Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zael Valerie, you must undertake this journey on your own now. You will not fail, Headmaster. Go on, through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail, to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world as true Solstice Warriors. May Luana's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. We got more, cl we got clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. Amulet of Storytelling. Sequent Flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relics section of the game menu, accessible with triangle to adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well-fed and well-equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training, for a dire cleansing awaits us. Uh-oh. I still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but... We'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world. Look at that treasure. Oh, God, I missed it. It's the ultimate item. I let it slip by. All right, I guess we go up here. Back to the cavern. Awesome. All right, well, we get to begin our journey, try to find Garl, and find the Elder Mist for sure. Everyone, I think this is a good place to stop the episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this. Take care.